And we are back after the long Paul London entrance. It gave yes. us a few extra commercial minutes, Disco yeah. Inferno. Just, uh, it, you didn't miss anything unless you want to turn on a wrestling show and watch Paul London literally shake every fan's hand in the arena. Yes. Every single fan. Yes. He shook every fan's hand. So if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're upset that you missed that, I apologize. Yes. Come see FSW Live. Yes. If you would like to see Paul London, shake every fan's hand, and maybe even Paul London might do what? Shake your shake hand. Shake your hand. Shake That's your right. hand. So you, know. you want to shake Paul London's hand, FSW Live is the experience you want to experience. That's true. You know, maybe we'll uh, give a highlight and we'll give the unedited version on our YouTube channel, Future oh, Stars Wrestling. That's right. For the Future Stars of Wrestling on YouTube, uh, YouTube.com. That's right. Go right to the Future Stars of Wrestling channel. That's right. Yeah. And you can see Paul London's entire six and a half minute introduction. Where he shakes everybody's hand. That's right. And there oh, is. He's J race friendly. Yes, he he's is. Friendly. You he's know, he's great friendly. to have here in FSW. That's we right. missed him for the last year and a half. And there is the No Limits champion. Jacob Austin Young, not only is he the No Limits champion, Disco Inferno, he is also the owner of the cash in the case. Yes, he's got a lot of uh, luggage and hardware. A lot of insur the yeah. insurance policy. Insurance policy. And right now, this is a non-title match, as we uh, discussed earlier. Due to the back injury to Brandon Gatson pulling out, it was scheduled to be Taylor and Gatson versus Jake and Paul London. Mm -hmm. So now Paul London's mindset's got to be a little different because now his job is to take out. <laughs> Listen, Paul London's mindset is always a little bit different than everybody else's, okay? So I don't think something like this would really affect his mindset that much because his mind is, like, like would you ask what's going on in Paul, Paul London's mind right now, right? Well, what's the visual picture? I can picture like, like, like just, just chaos, you know, like, like tornadoes, hurricanes. Well, that's why we think the, uh, the astronaut outfit is, is perfect for him. Right. And there is Ryan Taylor. What a great physical specimen, tremendous professional wrestler. And uh, this is going to be tough because I'm pretty sure the, the little bit of a friendship that Jake and London have formed uh, will probably make them key on taking out Ryan Taylor. Well, yeah, and Ryan Taylor's kind of screwed right now because it's a two-on-one situation. You know, the question... Oh, wait, 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 what's going on there with Paul London's right knee? Uh, he tweaked it. Really? Yes, before the show in Mesquite. Uh, he says he's okay. He's just using it for safety measures. He doesn't feel it should be an issue. Well, I mean, I know uh, they're friends. But, however, if you want to win this match, it wouldn't... Uh, it wouldn't be too remiss for Jacob Boston Young to maybe work the knee. Look at I mean, this, almost a quick cover by Paul London. Do you think that Jacob might go after that knee? Uh, it is definitely possible. We have seen a mean streak in the past from him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and look, oh, at, look this. at this, Paul London. Yeah, I swerved in there, huh? Little veteran, uh, veteran maneuver. Yep. The swing and the miss, and look at this, there's Taylor. Oh, and the big right hand on Jacob Austin Young, as we stated earlier, a non-title match. And look at that, the drop kick through the rope from Paul London. The bottom line is if Jacob Austin Young loses this match, whichever guy here pins Jacob Austin Young would probably be in line for a title shot. <laughs> That's common sense, isn't it? I mean, you know, I mean, if they beat the guy, I'm sure they would probably be the number one contender, wouldn't they? Well, you know, I'm just letting the fans know who, you know, Generally, Jake's a guy who always has the title on the line, even well, when it's well, at the school show. Let's shows. be honest, too. We're not here at FSW. Okay, we do not. Um, we do. We do not. We don't treat the fans like they're stupid. We okay? try not. To. Try not to. We, do, we don't treat the fans like they're idiots. Like, like, say for example, the WWE. Okay, which, for some inexplicable reason, Brock Lesnar is not the number one contender for the heavyweight title. Right. Okay, so without, so ever, without ever being pinned. Right, okay, so it's like so we're not gonna defy logic. We're gonna let the people that deserve to be the number one contenders earn it. And if they, they, they earn that spot, they're gonna wrestle for the belts. And that's how it needs to be. And you got Taylor and London, they are both down. Jake quickly up on the top rope with the cross body, takes them both out. And right now he is going after Paul London, so I guess they're uh, Friendship wasn't uh, that strong. They didn't well, have that strong a bond. The friendship lasts about, about two minutes in a match like this until you realize, you know, hey, wait a minute. I'm not, you know, I don't want to be friendly in here. I want to win the match. And now Ryan Taylor taking it to both men. 
Oh, look sorry. at that nice move as they both stepped out of the way and nobody, uh, nobody in the pool. Oh, and a double drop kick, and down goes Ryan Taylor. One, two. Whoa. But Paul London not going to let, and, and neither guy is going to let uh, the other capture the pin right Yeah, now. well, they should. I mean, they're, they're, that, that's obvious. They shouldn't have an issue with each other over that. That's just, you know. It's a good sportsmanship. I mean, yeah, you gotta, you're gotta, you there to yeah, win the match. You right. can't just say, okay, I like you, Jake. Well, and the fact that they're arguing with each other with this, I mean, each of them know what's up, you know. And this is kind of unfair to Ryan Taylor. I mean, let's be honest here, Joe. This is a this is a handicap match so far. Well, unfortunately, his tag partner got injured, and well, uh, then, then that what we're going to do here at FSW when people get hurt, we're going to put somebody in an unfair situation. I mean, I know the math is pretty simple. Well, why don't you, you know, step in before the match and say, "Hey, I'll be Ryan Taylor's partner if you were so because concerned I don't with like him." Because I like Ryan Taylor. Well, there and you I go. Want to be his partner. Okay? Not a lot of people do like Ryan Taylor. Brandon Gatson's one of the few. Maybe Ryan Taylor. Maybe maybe Ryan Taylor couldn't find a partner. Right, maybe Brandon Gatson lied and didn't want to tag with Ryan Taylor. Who knows? And look at this. Oh, nice move by Jacob Austin Young. And then he lands on his feet. Oh, oh nice. and look at that. Taylor Smart ends move. up drilling London. Smart move by Jacob. And again. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Big Wow, kick. wow. He knocked him right to the floor. Holy cow. You can tear a hamstring like that, obviously. And Ryan Taylor alone Ryan inside Taylor. the ring. Yeah, and you know, it's just kind of like, you know, those two guys are kind of maybe getting what they deserve here, you know? They try to do a two-on-one, they try to ambush the guy in a handicap type situation. They couldn't agree on who to pin him, and now they're kind of getting what they deserve, in my opinion. Joe, what do you think? This is kind of good, good comeuppance, don't you agree? You're saying it's karma? Is it karma? Yeah, it's like good. karma, you know? Like they may be getting what they deserve here. Good job for Ryan Taylor. Look at this, Taylor not intimidated in the least with Paul Lund. No, why would he be? It's not, I mean, the guy's not bigger than him. I mean, if you think that like, a lot of these guys um, are intimidated by like like name power, you know, like like, like Paul London, the former WWE champion. And right, right, some you know, people are. This, so, uh, really? Yes. But I was, I, from the day I started, I was never intimidated by anybody in that room. I've seen when we've had big name guys come through the locker room, you could see the nervousness in certain people. The guys asking for the autographs, right. and taking and the pictures they, with them. They and need stuff to take a anything. picture and immediately put it on Facebook. Right, right. Yep. Look who I'm here with. Right, I've seen that. And look at this, Jake. One, two, and he tried to uh, steal the pin. Oh, huge clothesline, Ryan Taylor. Always seems to be on point, Disco Inferno. Well, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes, and if he does make a mistake, he usually uh, makes up for it pretty quickly, you, you know, know? And he's a guy you should like a lot. He doesn't do a lot of crazy high-risk maneuvers to put himself in jeopardy. Perfect example, the one high-risk maneuver he did earlier, the flying crossbody, he missed it. So there you're you go. probably not going to see him try any more of them throughout the rest of the match. That's the type of guy he is. You learn from your mistakes instead of keep making the same mistakes over and over, which a lot of guys in professional wrestling continue to do. You know, and technically this guy is so sound, he can submit you at any given time. Ooh, he couldn't figure out what to do right there. Look at that, kicks to the back. That's Paul London. Ooh, well, there's a kick to the chest. There's another kick to the chest. And he's keeping Jacob Austin Young out of the match. Very smart, keeping him out of the ring and making it one-on-one. -on -one. And London with the big chops. Wow, you can hear those. And the reversal by Ryan Taylor. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Wow. And he held on for dear life, and Paul London paid the price. As Ryan Taylor trying to solidify himself. I thought that the way Ryan Taylor's been behaving in this match and the performance he's given so far, I'm surprised that he's not gaining a lot of fans right now, that he's not being cheered. Well, you know, Paul London is a, is a big crowd favorite here in FSW. Jacob Austin Young, obviously one Look, of theirs. The fans clap. He's got to cut like two or three people are, are, are getting with him here. That's unbelievable. These fans in FSW are so jaded. I mean, good grief. What are you going to do to get, to, be, to, have, to get fans in this crowd? Well, maybe they don't like I mean, you got uh, a big superstar like me comes here, and they, you know, a legend like myself, and they still boo me. Yeah, every it's, time it's, I go it's mind boggling. It's, it's ridiculous. Disco. Yes. I'm shocked every time it happens. And right now, Paul London perched on the top rope. And Paul, 
London looks like in big trouble as Ryan Taylor. He's trying to like a reverse razor's edge there. That's what it looked like. And then Jacob Austin Young, who's been stuck on the outside every time he tried to get in, Ryan Taylor has been making sure he's out of the match. Almost like a uh, counter puncher. Jacob Austin oh. Young looked like he nailed him with the knee. Yeah, Jacob Austin Young needs to go to the Ric Flair school for chops and learn how to do those things a little more effectively. I think it was more like, you know, he was peppering him. He was peppering yeah, him the with the chop. Probably yes. a jab, like a, like, yes. a, like a jab chop. That's you know? right. Right, right, right. What is Paul London doing up there? Is he taking a nap? It looks like he's uh, giving himself a breather. He's just sitting up there, just waiting. Oh, oh look whoa, at that. Look, look at that. Wow, no wonder he was waiting up there. He's playing possum. Yeah, wow. One, two. No, he didn't get him. Wow. And I thought Jacob Austin Young was going to walk in and take the pin. I oh. So, dude, a big super kick. And Paul London, one, two. No, he didn't get him. Wow. Boy, business just really picked up here real quick. Paul London was just perched on the top rope just waiting, and out just, of nowhere. Yeah, acting like he was out of it, just waiting to strike and. He hit the shooting star press out of nowhere. And Paul London trying to get the crowd behind him as he's looking to finish off Jacob Austin Young. Ooh. Oh, but he did he him. He got both of them with one move. One, two. No, he didn't get him. Wow. What a move by Ryan Taylor. What? How, well, we've seen a lot of really clever maneuvers here late in the match, Joe. And I thought it was all over. Great job by all three men. They've all had opportunities to walk away with the victory, but neither one has been able to. And right now, the whip into the turnbuckle as Ryan Taylor's got a choice. Boy, literally nobody was clapping along with him there. Well, when you're one the guy, he's got one guy. When you're the least liked guy. Yeah, but you think that like at least one fan might like you. Oh, a nice shoulder block, and here comes uh, Paul London once again off the top rope. Ooh. And he nails him with a double stomp. Oh, oh and look at that. Super kick by Jacob Austin Young. Oh, and he nailed him. And look at this. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, it's holding the tights. I can't believe that Ryan Taylor won this match. I cannot believe that Ryan Taylor won this match, Joe. Especially the way he won after they went back and forth with huge moves. He rolls them up, holds the tights. And the referee missed it. The referee missed it, Joe. He had the tights and the referee missed it. And Taylor gets out of Dodge. Unbelievable. That's like like lose like the, like in a football game. You fought your asses off for, for 60 minutes. And on the last play, it reminds me of the Miami Duke game. Yes. They make the big kickoff for Joe where there were nine penalties and they lost the game and they, did, they were reversed the decision. This is a travesty of justice. However, I'm going to give Ryan Taylor credit for taking the opportunity. So now who's the number one, who's the number one contender, Joe? He just pinned Jacob Boston Young. Well, it's obviously gotta be him. I gotta be him.